Hey everyone, so I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another video. So today I really wanted to share with you my 6 a.m. morning routine for like a productive and healthy morning. I don't do this every day, so I wanna keep it real. I normally do get up at seven, but twice a week I try and get up at six because I feel so much better for it and I get so much done. So my alarm will go off at 6 a.m. on the dot and normally I'll then just grab my phone straight away and just start scrolling through social media, catch up with any sort of replies, comments and DMs that I've got to do. So after around 10 to 15 minutes of catching up with my friend on my phone, I then will get out of bed. Latest is quarter past six. So I always give myself to quarter past six to get out. And then it's just that final push out of bed and straight to opening the blinds. I am absolutely loving these lighter mornings now. I definitely feel like getting up early in the morning at this time of year is so much easier. I then just like to quickly make my bed and pop my cushions back on. I always feel like a made bed in the morning just makes me feel so much more productive. Um, and yeah, I just feel like when you've got a tidy house, your mind just feels so much better. You said my Next is straight to the bathroom to freshen up. So before I do anything, I'd like to head to the bathroom, brush my teeth and do some skincare. And yeah, it just really helps make me feel fresh, awake and ready for the morning. Make me smile, what is it that you do? Okay, so jumping straight on into my morning skincare routine. And the first thing I do every single morning, religiously without fail, is cleanse my skin. So I'll just take a cleanser of choice, pop this onto my face, and then I'll go in with my Foreo Luna Free device. Now, if you've been here a while, you will know I absolutely love this device. It just pulsates on your skin and it just feels amazing. My skin always feels like it's had a deep clean after using this. After I finish my cleanse, I'll then just rinse and wash my face and just take a face cloth, flannel, whatever you want to call it, and just pat down my face dry. Next up, I then like to go in with my Foreo UFO 2. Now, if you don't know what this is, it is basically a premium and luxury device that uses light therapy, warming, and cooling T-sonic portations to infuse the essence deep below the skin's surface. So to accompany the UFO 2 device, there are various face masks with different skin benefits. Um, there's actually five fresh formulas, and these are the ones that I'm showing you now. One of my personal favorites is the coconut oil, which is a super nourishing mask, um, but I will show you how you use these on the device now. So first things first, you want to connect the device to your phone it's all connected via the Foreo app then if you click on the treatments you'll be able to scroll through the various masks that are available then obviously you just want to select the masks that you're going to be using to then run your treatment because like I say it connects from your phone to your device it is so so clever so the one I'm actually using today is the make my day it's a hydrating and anti-pollution mask so it's got red algae and hyaluronic acid and it's just what you need to start the day it's only a 90 second facial treatment so it's just going to leave your skin looking and feeling hydrated, protected and ready. So once you have popped your facial mask onto the device and clipped it in with the plastic clip, you are then ready to start. So as you'll have heard from the previous clip, the device is obviously linked up to your phone. So your phone literally guides you through the whole treatment. It's so self-explanatory and easy to use. And honestly, I can't stress enough how amazing these make your skin feel after. It is genuinely like having a professional spa experience within your own home. But yeah, as you guys know, I'm massively into self-care and just taking time to unwind and indulge. And I really do think that just taking this time, um, especially to look after your skin is so, so important. And there's so many advantages of this device too. Um, I definitely notice how glowy, radiant, and just hydrated my skin always looks after using these. Another great benefit of these as well, by the way, guys, is you can actually use your UFO2 when applying other products. Um, and it just helps boost the results from those products. So that is my treatment done guys. Can you just see how glowy, hydrated and just plump my skin looks? Um, I also just wanted to show you as well that if you go onto the settings in your app, you can actually customize and make your own treatment. So you can do the time, the light, and you can obviously do the temperature. So yeah, that's just something to note also. 
So anyway, that is the Forio UFO 2 device and my morning face mask. If you do want to check out that device, by the way, guys, I will leave a link in the description bar. Um, and yeah, then it's back to my morning skincare routine, just finishing off. So I'm just going in with an oil and just massaging that into my skin. And then I just like to take a day cream and again just put that on i just love to lather my face in products in the morning um, i can't tell you how good it feels and then the final and most crucial step of my skincare routine is some SPF 50. So, so important that you wear SPF 50 every day, guys. This obviously helps prevent anti-aging and wrinkles. So that is my morning skincare routine all done. And honestly, I can't tell you how much of a difference you will see if you do this morning and night. Um, so important to look after your skin. So next up, I'm then just popping on my gym wear. I have to get out my pajamas straight away in the morning else I just won't be productive. So yeah, I know normally lay it out the night before. Okay, and then it's straight on to the kitchen. So I do like to tidy every single morning. I like to try and possibly go to bed with a clean, spotless kitchen, but it doesn't always happen. So last night I left washing out and I had a few dishes to do. Um, but yeah, straight to the kettle first of all, and we're gonna make a good old cup of Yorkshire tea. By the way, if you're wondering why there's two kettles, my spec kettle has broken again, so my old one is back out. Okay, then it's straight to the sofa of my cup of tea. I like to pick up a pen and a notepad and start writing my to-do list straight away. I like to do this straight away just so I know what I've got on that day and it just keeps me feeling motivated, productive, and I feel like as soon as I wrote everything down on paper, I'm raring and ready to go. So after I've had my first cup of tea of the day, it's back to the kitchen and usually at this point I would be feeding the cats but they were having a lay in on this day. So yeah, I just like to go around and clean up all their areas. I normally like wash their food bowls and get rid of all their litter and yeah, just the mess that they normally make. Um, and like I said, normally I do like to go steep with the kitchen being completely spotless but last night I did leave a couple of dishes in the sink. Now I do have a dishwasher but it is broken at the moment so yeah I'm getting to grips and understanding how annoying it is to constantly do the washing up I mean it's only me so it isn't that bad but it still is a little tedious I bleed and I start and I miss your sweet sweet touch isn't when you are away then after I've done the washing up, I'll just take a spray and just spritz down all of the sides. I just love the kitchen solid, nice and fresh. I don't know if anyone else relates, but just having a nice clean kitchen and just a clean space. Obviously I work at home. It just makes me feel so much better. Um, and I feel like once I've cleaned, I can get on with my day as well. I'm like Nichols and Sets. You're like fresh spring water on a hot summer's day. Like a beautiful sundown when daylight fades. Okay, so as soon as the kitchen is all tidy, it is straight on to a workout. Now, I don't work out every single day. Again, just wanna keep it real. Some days I really just can't bear to do it. Other days I do push myself. Um, so yeah, it does depend. I try and do three times a week, but I have mentioned this on Instagram and stuff, but I am really, really struggling with home workouts. I just can't motivate myself as much as I do when I go to the gym. So what I have been doing is these little dance workouts. They're only 15 minutes each. I just feel like they're just more fun, enjoyable, and I don't dread them as much. So yeah, I really, really recommend them. Just type in dance workouts on YouTube. So after I've done my 15 minute sort of like cardio dance workout, I'll then just take a free weight and just do a few different things that to be honest with you, I would probably typically do in the gym. I absolutely miss the gym so much guys because I do mainly weights, mix them with a little cardio in the gym, but I don't know, I just feel so much more motivated for it when I'm there. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing now. Time, so 
Then it's time to chuck my trainers and my coat on and we're going straight out the door and gonna get an hour's walk in. This is why I love getting up early guys because I would always make excuses Prior to this, like I don't have time to go for an hour's walking day, um, but getting up early and doing it first thing gets it out of the way and done with, and then you've got the rest of the day to work and do everything that you need to do. We just have to believe it that we can make the sun come out. Let us lose ourselves in a fairy tale. Okay, so then as soon as I'm back from my walk, I am so ready for some food. So it's time to make some breakfast. Today I'm actually having an omelet. I've been really getting back into omelets just lately. So for this, I'm using three eggs, a small onion, and 20 grams of cheese. This omelet in total is around 268 calories, which is not bad at all. And it's a nice filling breakfast, which I feel like is super important. I feel like before now I would have breakfast and I would pick something like cereal which if I'm completely honest just doesn't fill me up and I feel like by 11 o'clock I'm looking in the snack cupboard and just constantly snacking so yeah it's really good to try and pick a filling breakfast. Oats is another good one. And after breakfast, it's time to get ready. So I leave her up for a quick shower or a quick bath. I do actually prefer and um, love a bath. So yeah, some mornings I do have a bath, um, but it just depends. And then it's time to put some slap on. So no matter what I'm doing that day, I always like to put a little bit of makeup on. Um, I have a five minute makeup routine now if I want like a real, real minimal makeup day. And that just consists of a little bit of concealer, tinted moisturizer, uh, blush, bronze, lipstick. Well, <laughs> I'm listing quite a lot of things here but believe me it's all just very quick minimal and chucked on um so yeah in total it takes probably i'm gonna say 10 minute maximum but it just makes me feel much more put together and again ready to start the day so there you go that is the makeup look Okay, then once I am ready, it is then time to make a coffee. So the tea that I have in the morning is actually decaffeinated. I've started buying decaf tea bags now because I drink way too many cups of tea during the day. So yeah, the only caffeinated drink I have is a cup of coffee. <laughs> well, I was just saying that really weird. Um, this is an espresso creaster machine, just in case you're wondering. And if you love frothy, milky coffees, this is the one. You obviously can just do like Americanos and things on this too. Um, but yeah, I love a good coffee cappuccino so straight to the office i was actually having just a bit of an admin email invoice um and just youtube planning day on this day so yeah just a nice tracksuit on cup of coffee and ready to work so anyway that concludes my sort of like productive healthy morning routine i really really hope you have enjoyed this video guys thank you so so much for watching if you have enjoyed it please give it a big thumbs up and remember to hit the subscribe button and i shall see you all in my next video Bye bye